What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're back with the CWL and Mad Ram is on the verge of either getting promoted or staying in Champs League 2. Is this the month that we finally get promoted? As you guys see here, we got a pretty tight group up top. Clash of Sifu is ahead of us by two stars. We actually just lost to them. We've actually lost twice, but somehow we are still in the running. Five and six just did not go our way. Now, if we take a look at the rounds, Sifu did have an extra attack so far this war. Uh, so they're up two stars, but they've also had that extra attack, which is essentially like having two stars. Uh, and then our third place clan, they're eight stars behind. They've used eight attacks for 16. So really, it looks like it's coming down between us and Sifu. Uh, who is Sifu playing against this round, actually? That's a good idea. Okay, so they're playing against the clan that... Oh, uh, they're playing against the last place clan. So they're probably going to win no matter what. We need to outstar them and win right now in our current war. It is 21 to 22, 9 attacks to 11 attacks, and it's been going pretty well. We're going to be showing off some of the replays, some of the triples here. I'm going to try to catch some live attacks. We'll see how that goes. It's always kind of sketchy, but we're going to start off. We're going to show off JJ's triple here using some P.E.K.K.A. Smash, getting the 3-star. I'll also have my live attack from this war in this video, guys. I'm really, really nervous. Uh, I'm super nervous about this, I'm not going to lie. So JJ coming in with the P.E.K.K.A. Smash, setting up the funnel, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to leave a like. Uh, but what he's going to do is he's going to use that Siege Barracks with the King to just set that funnel up top, and then he's going to jump right in towards that Town Hall and just full send everything through the base here, which, as we know, because it, it, we already know the results, worked out pretty well for him. So here come all the bowlers, all the Yetis. Everything's all in at this point. We do have Clan Castle troops coming up of an Ice Golem, a Balloon, and a couple of Witches in there. JJ's going to go ahead and pop that Warden's ability. The Hogs are going to work up through the top side there with the Royal Champion. Quake to open up the core of the base right through there, uh, getting lots of the base open and exposed, which is always what you want to do. Town Hall finally does go down. King and Yeti's working through the core. We got a few bowlers on the bottom side, and this one is looking pretty nice from JJ. Lots of stuff still up. Royal Champion smacks her ability to get through those defenses, regenerate that health, and look at that. Multi Inferno goes down. And I think he wanted to open up this wall with the Quake, but didn't quite get there, unfortunately. But he still has a nice run at it. We got that Royal Champion with plenty of health. We got the Queen working through here, taking out some of these defenses. Royal Champion's going to go work on that multi in front of him. That's really the, the turning point of this attack. The Royal Champion getting that multi down right there was massive for this attack success. Uh, she's going to get that down, and then really there's not too much left up. Still got a P.E.K.K.A., a Bowler up top. Got the Yeti King, a Royal Champion, and Queen working down here through the bottom. And there's only a couple of defenses, and this one is all but done for JJ. Really nice attack working through here, getting... Getting the base nice and open up. I still think he might have missed a little bit on that Quake right there. But it ends up working out for him in the end as that Mortar is going to go down from the Archers. And we'll just walk in to clean up there. So, this is what we need. We've had quite a few triples this war. The last couple wars have been bad. Sifu, Sifu wrecked us, guys. It was not even close. Like, they absolutely destroyed us. We'll go check that war out here right now uh, just to show you guys the score. They, they blew us out, guys. Uh, I don't know why, but they just had good reads on all of our bases. 33 to 37, and then in War 5, we just didn't, we just came up short. Uh, I one started, I'm not even going to lie, I one started, I needed, uh, I was trying to go a little bit, get too cute, and it just did not work out, uh, but we needed a triple anyways. I was uh, the second from last attack, so we needed a three star, and it didn't work out. War of... Uh, four right here we did pretty well we got 32 to 28 war three we went up and we got 33 to 28 against that last place clan i don't know it seems like that last place clan's not attacking war two we had 35 to 32 so we've been putting up decent numbers uh which has kept us in this even though we've lost two wars it's kept us in this 34 on that first war so we're in this war right here, guys. We, we're really close. I don't know. What do you guys think? Are we going to get there? Let's check out Sammy's attack, getting the three-star here against this nice, interesting base. Going to go with a straight-up nine Yeti, eight Quake Yeti smash here. Going to start off with the Ward of Mock over here at the three o'clock side, if you guys don't know. Think of it like a clock. Twelve o'clock up top, three o'clock at the bottom, six o'clock at the bottom. Or three o'clock on the right, six o'clock at the bottom, nine o'clock on the left. Uh, so going to use the King and Yetis to take out that RC, uh, and then they're going to go ahead and set up that funnel. Royal Champion's going to set the edge over here with the Warden Walk. Did I say Royal, Cha Royal Champion? I'm all over the place, guys. The Grand Warden 
gonna set the edge with the warden walk there and then he's gonna use that siege barracks to go ahead and set, finish off that funnel so that everything will go right up into the middle of this base you do see the clan castle get pulled here lava hound archers and witches but they're gonna go over there and be distracted with the king meanwhile all the yetis and everything are gonna go right up the middle of this base that storage going down there was absolutely huge that way the king or the queen rather and the yetis do not walk outside guys i cannot talk right now oh my goodness i cannot talk uh but sammy go ahead and hit that warden ability right in the middle of the base right in the middle of all that action warden our eagle shots coming in uh town hall falling all good here comes the world champion with the hogs through the top side hogs out of the siege barracks i'm just gonna have a nice run through the middle of this base to get the three star this one was absolutely gutted a very nice attack here by sammy look at those balloons coming in on the back end that's what we like to see guys this one was not even close to failing tons of troops still up tons of hogs still up got that royal champion working on the uh lava hound there and this was just well executed nice plan by sammy to get the three star using nine yetis eight quakes smashing right on through the base you gotta love when that happens right guys still has the queen's ability while that king's working on her the royal champion does end up popping that hound but no big deal still has the royal champion's ability as well can just kind of spam that out just for cleanup here it goes Look at that, real champion shield flying all throughout the base and a nice three star there from Sammy. We needed that, we need we need as many triples as possible. I'm really nervous about my hit guys. I'm really nervous about my hit. And then, do we have four triples this war? Or no, we had three, okay. And then finally we had Thor coming in. I'm losing my mind out here. Finally we had Thor coming in with a Yeti smash. Uh, got 11 giants. This is a really interesting version that Thor runs with some giants in there. Uh, he's got three babies in there, five yetis, five bowlers, and this one's going to work out pretty nicely for him. The bowlers, or the giants in there tanking, it's really an interesting concept. You don't see that a ton. So we're going to have a queen walk. She's going to walk uh, from the 9 o'clock side down towards 6 o'clock. Going to use those babies to kind of set that edge and make sure the queen pushes up into the base with everything else as she's kind of meeting through there. She'll push uh, into the base towards that jump. And the king's going to help set that funnel as well. We'll see the bowlers come in. Are the yetis and bowlers come in right here through the middle. Here come all the giants right in behind just to help that tanking. Help the bowlers tank a little bit. Eagle shot comes in. First rage goes down. We do see the three uh, three balloons and the lava hound coming out of the clan castle. Uh, going to have another jump for the back end of the base. And then the grand warden's eternal tome going to pop right there. Bowlers, yetis just going to massacre right through that scatter shot. Uh, what a well executed attack here by Thor Kings working through that bottom side and everything else is pushing up in the middle So a very nice opening from Thor that Yeti bomb into the Queen walk into Just a straight-up destruction of the base. I'm still man like the Giants are so curious, but it works out. I guess it, especially when you're seeing some of those uh, singles, I guess the Giants work out pretty well, so Royal Champions working through the bomb side. Kings working through there. Still got the Queen's ability. Still got the Royal Champions ability. Plenty of troops left up for the cleanup. And this one's going to look really nice here as Thor finishes through. All the Giants and Yetis down, but no big deal. Royal Champions ability going through. Taking out the last few defenses. Just got that last Archer Tower. And that's just going to be clean up from there, guys. Nice attack. Well executed from Thor. That's what we need. So, uh, we'll talk. I'm going to show you guys the base. I'm still working on a plan. I'm uh, I'm so nervous about this. I don't know why, but I've been... I've just been so nervous about my attacks lately. Uh, so, what base am I hitting? I think it was 9. Yep. Base number 9 right here. We got, like, a centralized town hall. Ugh, it is... It is sketchy, guys. It is super sketchy. We got scatter shots on opposite sides. Like, I almost think, like, I want a Yeti bomb out this eagle compartment. But I also, like, don't want to miss the two-star. Like, I almost feel like I need to be safe and make sure I secured the two-star. So if I Yeti bomb out that eagle, it could be real dicey. I was also thinking maybe do, like, a little bit of a, a warden walk up here. Throw in the siege barracks right here. And then just jump here. Or actually, I could probably just quake right through here. But I think jump would be more control. I don't know. I'm on the fence, guys. I don't really know what I want to do here. I'm going to try to make it happen. I'm, I'm working on the plan. I'll be back with you guys with our next live attack or my attack. We'll see what comes first. Alrighty, guys. I'm going to do my attack so I don't get in my own head. I'm already so nervous about this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quad quake open this compartment here. 
I'm going to do a little bit of a queen walk down this way. If the queen starts to go this way, it'll be okay. I'm going to save the quake until after I, the queen decides which way she's going. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to full send everything right through here. I'm going to save the blimp just in case we don't get to the town hall. Uh, and we'll kind of go from there. Let's just hit it, guys. I, Like I said, I'm really nervous. I don't want to mess this up. But we, we've got a hit. So let's go ahead and let's get it going, guys. So let's... Uh, I need to start with my baby dragon here. Just to set this little bit of a funnel here. I'm going to get the queen walking here. Alright, so I just got to make sure the queen goes the right way here. Which it looks like she should. Alright, so it looks like she's going that way. We're going to go ahead and drop the quake in there. Go ice golem there. Get that all working through here. Witches, let's go ahead and get the warden in here. I need to be cautious with my... Uh, let's go ahead and freeze here. Need to be cautious with everything through here. Let's go ahead and hit the warden's ability as that eagle shot's coming in. Alright, uh, that's all going down. Great. Okay. It's alright if everything walks here because, again, we're saving... We're saving the blimp for the town hall. Let's go ahead and run in the royal champion through here. Let's poison this queen. Slow her down. So we have a straight shot at the town hall. Go ahead and blimp out the town hall. Just make sure we get that down. Going for the safe two at minimum here. All right, so town hall should fall right there. The plan was if that didn't fall, we were gonna go ahead and send the blimp over in this compartment over here. All right, so we're getting some buildings down. We still have a herd of troops up. Cleanup is fine through there. Real champion's gonna get taken down by the single. We need to get the, those skellies out in front here, guys. Need those skelly- oh no, not the warden. The warden's gonna get taken out here. Still have the queen's ability though. Alright, we have plenty of skellies through here. Alright, that's looking good. Alright, world champion's going down. Queen's looking good. 43 seconds, time's a little bit concerning. Alright, queen, do your thing. All right, Queen, I'm going to have to pop your ability. Nice, got to hold it until last second there. 33 seconds, I think we're okay. Just need the Queen to get out of range of that bow. Wizard Tower, oh, look at that. We got all those witches. I think we got this, guys. I think we got the triple here. Woo, we needed that so bad. All right, get there, Queen, get there. Yeah, we got that. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Clutch up. Let's go. CWL on the line, we get the clutch triple. Man, do we need that. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Oh man. Alright, so that was huge. That was massive. That was monstrous. Epic. Good stuff. So, uh, Sifu did attack a few more times. Uh, so, they are sitting, with 12 attacks, they're sitting at 26. So, technically, a two-star... Two two stars and we're ahead of them. So we are looking really nice right here, guys. Like I said, I'll try to catch as many lives. Oh my god, I'm shaking. I'm like actually... I'm actually shaking. What a good attack. My my best attack of the week. Hopefully you guys are, are pumped up because I know I am. We got 12 hours left. I'll try to catch these last few attacks, but Mad Ram looking decent. Alrighty guys, we have Elwood coming in with his live right here. Looks like we got a little bit of a warden walk. Pretty much just going to go straight at the town hall here. Got the bowlers, the yeti, everything kind of working down this king. I don't know if that king's going to go down there though. Uh, so the warden walk's going to walk out there. Ooh, that king is going to stay up. And it looks like he's going to probably dive everything right in to the middle here. Alright. A little bit worried about that king. A little bit worried. Also, did he pull? Okay, he pulled the warden. Alright, you're good, L. You got this. You got this, L. No pressure, brother. No pressure. Alright, so he's got double jumps through this one. I'm worried about that king pulling everything out. And the king does just pull everything out. Alright. Warden ability there through the town hall. Queen's going to walk outside with some bowlers. Alright, that king, man, that king was a pain. Let's see, we'll see probably a rage working through here. We'll have the heal for the hogs. Alright, so there goes the rage. We'll have another jump through the back end of the base. 
All right, got a scatter shot on that back end. We see the Hogs coming top side. He's looking fine at minimum for the two. He's still got quite a bit up. Queen's gonna have to pop her ability here to get the RC down. Got the friendly RC working up top. Let's zoom out a little bit so we can see. That Queen's doing pretty well, but did leave that multi up there. Nothing went towards that multi. Got the Hogs working through here. They just like ignored that heal. <laughs> the Hogs just ignored that heal. But look at this, guys. It's still got quite a bit up. That single's gonna be a problem here. Does not have any freezes left for it. All right, let's see. King's gonna get obliterated there. All right, RC, get the single down. Come on, get the get the single down. All right, single goes down. Still got hogs. Queen did go down. Does he have? Oh, he doesn't have any cleanup. Oh no, I'm worried about no cleanup. All right, uh, still working. Pekka, RC, oh, tornado trap hurts. Oh, that tornado trap hurts so bad right there. Oh, she's not able to get through. Oh, giant bomb. Literally no cleanup also. I think all the cleanup went towards that king. But that's alright. 70% 2. We, we need quality 2, so we'll be fine. We just need to run up the percent. Before my attack, I think we needed like 3 2-star 60% to tie. Uh, so this is... We're good. We're still fine here. Uh, what is, what is going on here? Yeah, but he definitely had to use like... He tried to use all his wizards on that king, and it kind of hurt his cleanup. Because he could probably... Get up to 90% here if he had a little bit more cleanup. The Grand Warden's just going to follow that P.E.K.K.A. around for the next 22 seconds. Man, that king. That king was a pain up top. I think if that king wasn't so distracting up there, if he didn't spend so much resources on the king, he might have had enough to get through here. But that happens. It's all right. Still a nice attack from L. He's been having a great week. Uh, so let's see if we can run this one up to 80% or close. 79 Oh, so close to the 80. That's all right, though. So, like I said, we'll try to catch as many lives as possible. Nice attack there from Elwood. Good try, bud. Let's keep it moving, boys. All right, guys. So, we got a little bit of an update. Skeens was talking, and he actually brought up a very good point. So, Sifu might not actually be our problem. The fourth place clan might actually be our issue here. We weren't... I wasn't even paying attention to him. I was... Uh, I'm stressed now, guys. I'm really stressed. So they have a lot of attacks left. They're at 254, which is 10 stars less than us. Uh, so they have nine attacks left. So uh, to get where we are, five attacks, if they two-star out, that ties them with us. So really, we're going to need to... We need them to lose. We need Polskill to beat them. But we really... We're probably going to need to put up, uh, like... I don't know, 274 or so to be safe? Uh, it's going to be a wild finish, guys. I know we got some guys gearing up to get ready to attack, but this is going to be a crazy finish. Oh, I hope we don't miss it again, guys. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Alrighty, guys, we have skeins going in. I just realized I'm wearing a blue shirt, so I'm like Ghost Bash right now. Don't mind me. All right, so <laughs> skeins is going to go in. He's trying. He really wants to get this Mortar and Archer Tower out. Uh, and then he's going to set the funnel over here with the Warden Walk. All right, so that looks like that should be a success. He's just got to pull his warden back. Oh my goodness, look at that Seeking Airmine. Are you serious, Seeking Airmine? Give me a break, dude. Okay, so he got the funnel he wanted. Oh, I'm so nervous for Skeens. All right, bro, you got this. Let's go, Skeens. There's so much pressure on these last few wars, man. Or these last few attacks, not wars. The last few attacks. So much pressure. I know our guys could do this. I love his plan. We talked about this one a little bit. He's got a great plan. I'm worried about the real champion phase, which he's going to be starting soon. So he's going to go, oh, the Tesla farm. Exactly what we did not want to see. A Tesla farm right there. Going to distract the RC. So she might not get to that single. All right, so RC is going to go down. Enemy RC is going to go down there. Oh, yet he's getting spring trapped out of there. So his plan was for the RC to get to that single Inferno. But it does not appear that's going to happen. Oh, no. All right, Queen's still working. Oh, but the Royal Champion gets held up by some skellies. Oh, she gets it down. She gets it down. Hold on. We're staying alive. We're staying alive. All right. Oh, she goes down there. Queen's going to end up popping that Hound, though. That's the issue. Queen's going to pop that Hound. And will he have enough to get through? Oh, man. There's only a few buildings. This is so close. That Tesla farm. Like, we talked about that Tesla farm. All right, Queen. All right, Queen pops her ability here. Minute 14. All right. Oh, I think he's going to be just short, guys. Just short. Oh, Giant Bomb goes off. 
Such a nice try by Skeens, but that Tesla farm really killed the plan down here for the RC to get in there and get that single out a little bit quicker. Lost some troops. Also, the queen, like, going into that compartment was kind of awkward. Like, going up. Ah, oh, so close. A nice high percentage attack by Skeens, but just not quite enough for the three-star. So let's go ahead. Let's take a look. I don't think anything else has happened. So it's... Two star there puts us up technically in the lead with equal attacks on with Sifu. But like I said, that clan, the fourth place clan, that's really, we got to root for Polska here. All right, guys, I'll be back with any, uh, any updates that I get. All right, guys, so a little update. The uh, second place clan has started their attacks. They did get one triple, which puts them one star ahead of us if they two star out, uh, unless Polska gets a triple on their last hit. So, we really need a three star, maybe two, depending on how their attacks go. Uh, this is it's gonna be a crazy finish. We got Max practicing for number one, getting ready. We'll have 12 on 13. Oh, we're getting ready, guys. We're getting ready. Alrighty, guys, we got Max going in with this hit here. Uh, going up against this ring base. We actually had something similar, and he's been practicing. Uh, except for he's been practicing with a Lava Hound clan castle. Just based on what they've had in other clan castles. Let's see those E-Drags. See what they do here. Kind of miss both rages. Oh, Max. Alright, that's okay though. We're fine. We're fine. Alright, uh, let's see how this one develops. King's gonna go in there just to set that edge. E-Drags not working out too well. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, so this plan, he, he tripled twice in a row with it. But uh, I'm a little bit concerned. Just a little bit. No big deal. Alright, you got this. Alright, let's go, Max. Get in there. Everything's working through the core. Those ice golems are going to be such a pain. They're going to hold up the wall wrecker and everything. Oh, they're going to hold up the wall wrecker. <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright, Queen's got to pop her ability here. Real champions going in. Alright, uh, it's still alive, but, oh, that's such a pain. The triple ice golem. Not what we were anticipating. And that's gonna hurt pretty bad. Still got a lot up, still got the RC, still got the queen, still got cleanup. But there's a lot of base up as well. Queen gonna get held up on the air skellies there. Queen already popped her ability, so it's gonna be a two star here. But, going into this attack, I already knew... We, we had bad news already going in, so this attack, guys. Ah, uh, the, the, the other clan, they've pulled ahead. And they've pulled ahead well. Uh, it, it looks like our CWL is going to be over, unfortunately. Oh, I don't want to say it. I don't want to ruin it, but this attack obviously did not go as well as planned. Uh, so he's going to get the two-star there. The triple ice golem was not what we were planning for, but... Yeah, they've, they've pulled ahead. We had to get... We had to get three three stars. We only had two attacks left. They've went ahead and they've tripled on their last two attacks. Uh, so yeah, we're we're out of it unfortunately, but it's still a really nice effort from our guys for losing two to being in it this close at the end. We did lose to the top two guys, so we got to clean that up. We lost to Sifu with the number one clan. Looks like we're gonna stay in champs again, unfortunately, guys. Sad time, sad time. We're definitely, we're stuck in champs too again for yet another month. Maybe next month will be the month. We're getting better. We're growing as a clan. Just, it's just a rough patch, guys. It's just rough. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss any future uploads of mine. And if you did happen to miss yesterday's video, you can check it out right over there. Alrighty guys, 12 is in with our last attack. Uh, I, I just happen to be right here, so we'll catch it live. Why not? Let's just catch it live. See what he's going to do here. Really interesting stuff. Looks like he's going full across the base. Might just be in full YOLO mode, knowing that we're uh, pretty out of it. Hard to say here. We'll see. Alright, so Warden Walk's going to walk down here at 6 o'clock. Clear out this whole section, which that's the beauty of a warden walk. He's got that great range. 
He's going to go ahead and pull that Warden back in and send everything right up the middle. So he's going full YOLO away from the Town Hall. That's going to be an interesting one. I think he's going three or nothing here. All right, so everything's working up the middle. Looks like we'll have that RC save, possibly. Warden's abilities hit right there to save the Yetis just a little bit. Eagle does go down. Here comes that Royal Champion at 12 o'clock. Warden working with the Yetis. Here comes the Clan Castle. See, this is the Clan Castle we were expecting on 12's base. A Lava Hound. Ugh. That's devastating. That's literally the Clan Castle. All right, so he's got the Yeti Bomb saved for the Town Hall. That Town Hall is just going to be a lot to take on, even with the Yeti Bomb. Got all three heroes over there. He might actually be pretty nice here, though. Need the Royal Champion to get through just a little bit. He's got the Yetis coming up the rear here. He's he's in a nice spot. Blimp goes right in, right at the Town Hall. Gonna just take that right out. Queen still got her ability. I'm worried about the Queen around those scatter shots. Oh, he's gonna be so close here. Oh, the queen around the enemy queen. Get her, get her, get her, get her. All right, uh, Lava Hound, you stay over there. Whatever you're on, stay over there. Oh no! Oh no, the 99. Oh, that feels bad, man. Oh, that feels real bad, man. Dang, that sucks.